Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about rational exponents in our section number 7.2. So let's go ahead and get started. When we're talking about rational exponents, we're talking about exponents with a ratio. So a fraction as most people would would say. So let's go over how it works. So let's say we have three to the one half power in parentheses and raising to the second power. What we do when we have a power raised to a power is we multiply the exponents. Okay, so in this example, one half times two gives us one. So three to the first power is just three. Okay, now what happens if we have a radical? So radical three squared is the same thing as radical three times radical three or radical nine, which equals three. So notice how we get the same answer when we have three to the one half power raised to the second power and radical three raised to the second power. That's because they're the same thing. The square root and raising something to the one half power are equivalent. So if we have a to the one over n power, it's the same thing as a to the nth root. Let's go ahead and see how this is applied. So we have our first example here four to the one half power, and that is equal to the square root of four, or obviously two. We're just doing the principal root. That's why you're not going to see me doing plus or minus in this case. Okay. So then with uh, eight to the one third power, that's the same thing as the cube root of eight, which is equal to two. 16 to the one fourth power is the same thing as the fourth root. I hope you guys are seeing the pattern. It just needs to match. These numbers need to match. Now you're probably thinking, oh, what about the one half? There's no two there. Well, with uh, the square root, it's implied that it is a 2, so you don't need to worry about putting the 2 with square roots. It's implied that that's 2. What times itself twice gives you 4, okay? So back to 16, we have the 4th root of 16, and that also is 2. Now we have 32 to the 0.2 power. Now you're probably thinking, whoa, you were talking about rational exponents, and all of a sudden you're throwing decimals in here. Well, 0.2 can be expressed as a decimal, and that decimal is 1 over 5. So if 1 over 5 is the rational exponent, then we know it can be expressed as the fifth root, which is also 2. Now, if we were to write the following ones in terms of, uh, in terms of the rational, uh, in terms of radical form, then this would be 64, the, th the third root of that. Okay, both are the same thing. And this equals 4. 4 times itself 3 times equals 64. Then we have um, 100 to the 1 half power. And that's the same thing as the square root of 100. You don't need to put the 2 out in front. Okay, and that equals 10. Then we have negative. Okay, and then we have 256 to the fourth root. That negative is out in front. It's important to know that because we do exponents first, okay? The temptation would be to put it, let me use a different color for this, to put it inside the parentheses, negative 256, the fourth root of that, but that is wrong, okay? Do not do this, and I'll leave that there with the X over it. So if we have the fourth root, I believe that is four. 4, 64 times 4, yes, it is. So the answer here would be negative 4. We do the 4th root of 256 first, which is 4, and then we make that negative. Okay? Now, if the negative is inside the parentheses, then we do need to put that inside the radical. So that's negative 32 to the 5th root. Because it's uh, an odd root, we can have this be negative okay so we need to make uh if with a negative root it's also going to be negative um and what times itself five times gives us 30 negative 32 and that is negative two so there we have it okay continuing on from that feel free to pause and catch up at any time but i'm going to be moving on meaning of a to the m over n is the same thing as a to the 1 over n power, all raised to the m power, okay? Or you could write it as a to the m power, all raised to the 1 over n power. In most cases, the first one is easier. So 1 over to the a to the n 
all raised to the M. And oh, sorry, not five M. And the reason being is because you're gonna make it smaller. Okay, so by taking the root first, you're gonna make it a smaller number to deal with, and that makes it a lot easier. Okay. Now again, this can be expressed as the nth power a, or all raised to the m power. Okay. So here we have a couple examples to show. So 36 to the 3 halves, it's way easier than it looks. We're going to break this down into its roots. So first we have 36, and we're going to do 1 half power first. Let me get rid of that parenthesis. 1 half power first, and then we're going to raise that to the third power. For those that don't are not familiar or don't like it yet, I, I promise you'll like it eventually. That's the same thing as the square root of 36, all raised to the third power. That's 6 raised to the third power. So we have 6 times 6 is 36 times 6. I uh, don't have my calculator with me, but that's okay. Whoops, 36. Uh, I carry the 3, 18, 216. Okay, now we have 125 to the 2 thirds power. So I like, again, most of the time it's going to be easier to have the 1 third power first, the one on the bottom, and then you raise it to the one number that's on the top. So 125 uh, to, the th to the third root uh, is 5, and we still need to square it, so that is equal to 25. Okay, letter C, we have that negative sign. That's going to be applied last. We're going to do that the last thing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to raise 4 to the 1 half power, and then we're going to raise that to the fifth power. And then finally, we're going to end up with the negative out in front. So we have negative, and we're going to raise 2 to the fifth power, and that equals negative 32. Let's continue on. So here we have negative 27 to the 2 thirds power. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to take the third root of 27, negative 27, and we're going to square that, whatever that answer is. So negative 27, third root, what times itself three times gives you negative 27, and that is negative 3. Then we're going to square negative 3, and we get 9. Last but not least, we have negative 100 raised to the 1 half power, and then we're going to raise that to the third power. Now, here's the problem. We have negative 100 raised to the 1 half power. We cannot take the square root of a negative 100. Let me make this a little bit more clear. We cannot take the square root of a negative 100. Okay, so this is no real solutions. Okay. Finally, we're going to do a little bit more, and then we'll take a break for you guys, and we'll continue up with another video. I want to make it into nice, sizable chunks so it's not too overwhelming. So the meaning of negative 5 over, sorry, not negative 5, negative m over n is the same thing as 1 over a to the m over n. And a cannot be equal to 0, okay, because then we would have an undefined answer. Much uh, easier than you think. This is just the same thing as remembering negative exponents. Anytime you see a negative exponent, you got to think it's going to switch sides. Okay, so we're going to put one over whatever that exponent is. So let's go over our first example. We're going to rewrite this first with positive exponents. We have one over sixteen to the three fourths, which of course is equal to one over sixteen to the one fourth power cubed that's the same thing as 1 over the fourth root of 16 i'm just spelling this all out initially feel free to zoom in i'll zoom in a little bit for you actually equals to the fourth root of 16 is 2 and then we're going to cube that finally and we get 1 over 8 okay that was a really expanded form Okay, that took a while to do. I'm going to kind of simplify it. I'm not going to show this step in the preceding problems, but no, anytime I have one fourth, it's the same thing as the fourth root. Okay, so here I need to put 25 and I need to put it in the denominator to the three halves power. That's the same thing as one over 25 to the one half and then cubing that. I know 25 to the one half power. Sorry, it's a little vague. The 5 is bigger. 
is 5. So 1 over 5 cubed. I know 5 cubed is 125. So there's my answer. Okay, now we have a little bit of a problem. Now we have a fraction being raised to the negative. So what happens in this case? Well, we could do 1 over 8 over 27 to the 2 thirds. Okay, or we can see that we just switch the 27 and the 8 because we're going to end up multiplying by the reciprocal anyway. So anytime you see a fraction, just think of, and it's a negative exponent, just think of that you're, you're flipping the fraction. So we're going to rewrite this as 27 over 8, now with a positive exponent, 2 thirds power. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the cube root of both. So 27 to the 1 third over 8 to the 1 third, and then we're going to square that answer. What does that equal? Well, that equals 27 to the 1 third is 3, 8 to the 1 third is 2, and now we're going to square both of those, and we get 9 over 4 as our answer. Go over here to letter D. We have negative 27 to the 2 thirds power. Oh, this is a repeat. We can go ahead and erase these. So if you already have these, go ahead and white over them. But I just wanted to go over A, B, and C. Um, this is just a continuation of what we did before. We just need to convert radical form, and then we're going to take our break. Promise. Uh, A to the M over N is equal to the nth, uh, the nth root of A to the M, or the nth root of A raised to the power of M. We already talked about that a little bit. So if we were to rewrite this, this could be 6 to the 4th root cubed. This would be 9 out in front, okay? Because the 9 is not being raised to the 5 over 8 power. But this would be the 8th root of m to the 5th power times, with that 9 out in front. This would be 1 over uh, the cube root of 3 squared and then we have this guy and this is just the square root of a squared plus b squared okay so next time uh, in our next video we're going to go over rational exponents review because we're going to be doing an extension off of that see you next time